children. Children, 
yourself tonight. I want you to be filled with the spirit of thanksgiving to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the one that is called Alpha Omega, the preserver of our life and the protector of our family. He deserves our praise. And if you feel like that tonight, that Lord, you deserve my praise. You deserve my worship. You deserve my thanksgiving. Just think about his goodness. Think about his blessing. Think about his fatherly care over your life, over your family. Anywhere you are tonight, give him praise. Give God all the praise that is due to his name for being a faithful daddy, for being a merciful daddy, for being a loving daddy. The scripture say, as a father pities his son, so the Lord pity us, so that I worship you. If you did not pity me, only God knows where I would be tonight. I just want to thank you for preserving my life, for making us to be where we are tonight to praise you. Thank the Lord for great and marvelous things that he has done in your life, that he's doing, and he will continue to do. Tell him that, Father, in any situation, in any circumstances, you deserve my praise. And I thank you that I'm giving that praise to you. I'm not giving the praise of God to Abalist. I'm not giving the praise of God to anyone, but I'm giving it to God. Who deserves it? Who is worthy to receive it? Father, we thank you. You deserve our praise for who you are, for your awesome power, for your awesome wisdom, for your awesome strength, because you are greater than the greatest. You are mighty God. You are great, and you are greatly to be praised. Holiness is your name. Faithfulness is your name. Righteousness is your name. Lord, you deserve to be worshipped for what you have done, for what you are doing, and for what you will continue to do. And tonight, for the ability to give you the praise, 
accept our thanks and praise in Jesus' name. And as many of your children that are giving you praise, Father, tonight, let heaven that you have opened, let it remain open in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that which is in your heart to do for your children tonight, let it be established in the name of Jesus. Let the showers of heaven that you have promised to release upon our head tonight, let it reach every individual, anywhere we get connected tonight, in the name of Jesus. Because Holy Spirit said there shall be showers of blessing. There shall be showers of breakthrough. There shall be showers of deliverance. There shall be showers of God's righteousness. Whatever satanic umbrella that can prevent the shower of God from falling upon us tonight, let that satanic umbrella catch fire now. 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 In the name of Jesus. That which makes someone to be in the midst of where the move of God is and not, someone not being partaker. Let the Lord remove it from every life here tonight in Jesus' name. The Bible says when King Saul himself gets to Ramah, he begins to prophesy, and he wasn't a prophet. But the spirit of prophet enters into his life. I am praying tonight that the spirit of Jesus Christ of Nazareth will enter into the life of everyone here. And give every life here enablement to do what you can't do before. If you can't pray before, you'll be able to pray well in Jesus' name. If you can't speak in tongues before, you'll be able to speak in tongues in Jesus' name. If you cannot see before, you'll be able to see clearly in the name of Jesus. If you cannot hear before, the Spirit of Jesus will enter your life and make you of quick hearing. Open your ears and remove blockage in Jesus' name. If you cannot talk before, the Spirit of Jesus Christ will enter your life and make you to talk and speak freely in the name of Jesus. If you cannot stand on your feet before, the Spirit of Jesus Christ enter your life and make you, you to stand upright in the name of Jesus. Whatever you cannot do before, because of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, that is going to enter your life, that is going to enter your children's life, that is going to enter your spouse's life, that is going to enter your difficult situation. Impossibility shall be made possible. That child that cannot hear, that cannot understand, that is what he, that Satan has touched his life, shall hear the voice of Jesus and receive order to his life. Receive order to his life. Receive order to his life. In the name of Jesus Christ. That which enemy has polluted, as the spirit of Jesus enter there, all the pollution and confusion shall, shall melt away in the name of Jesus. Make a ponderia, malikuri masindaya, mekendele masindaya. Let God arise and let his enemy be scattered. Declare it seven odd times over your life, over your children, over your spouse. Declare it seven odd times. Let God arise. Let enemy be scattered. 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 In the name of Jesus. And I decree and I declare that as smoke is driven away, anyone with strange spirit in this place tonight, anyone with demonic possession, let the power of Jesus drive demons away, drive confusion away, drive dementia away, drive every madness away. In the name of Jesus. Let the Spirit of Jesus Christ drive away every stranger in the, in, in the midst, in the fold. Let the Spirit of Jesus Christ drive every stranger, stranger in the soul, stranger in the spirit, stranger in the body of anyone here. Let the power of Jesus Christ push them out, push them out, 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 as smoke is driven away. Let them be driven away forcefully, powerfully, forcefully, powerfully, 
forcefully, powerfully, forcefully in the name of Jesus. Yes, as wax melted before the fire, as wax melted before the fire, every poison in the body of anyone here, let them melt away now in the name of Jesus. Yes, let every flu-like symptoms melt away. Let every arrows of the enemy melt away. Let every sudden sickness melt away. Let every, every satanic arrow program to discomfort, program to torment anyone here, anyone you're standing in the gap for. Let the power of Jesus push evil arrow away. As smoke is driven away, Father, drive them away. Drive sickness away. Drive every, every satanic accusation away. Drive every serpent, poison of serpent. Every poison of scorpion, recapacitating the hair. Father, drive them away. Drive them away. Every evil breath of God, every evil breath of darkness. Oh, yes, Father, push them away. Drive them away. Evil odor, satanic adherence. Drive them away. 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 In the name of Jesus, as wax melted. Before fire, Father, Lord, let every sickness melt away. Let the habitation of any sickness in the body of anyone here melt away now. Melt away in the name of Jesus. Let every impossibility melt away in the name of Jesus. Let every fear melt away. Let every confusion melt away. Let every misfortune melt away. Every arrow of untimely death programmed into the body of anyone here. Let it melt away now. Melt away now. Melt away now. Melt away now. In the name of Jesus, as wax melts away before the fire, let every satanic utterance, let them melt away now. In the name of Jesus. And let the righteous be glad and rejoice in the Lord their God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' awesome name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen in Jesus' name. Glory be to God in the highest. Honor, adoration be unto his name. I am so excited. Are you excited? The fasting... The annual fasting is going to come to an end tomorrow by the special grace of God. And the Holy Spirit said the end of the fasting shall be better than the beginning. If you believe, shout hallelujah. If you are excited, shout hallelujah. And I know it's going to be very awesome. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. We thank the Lord for the celebration of daddy. And we pray that the grace of God shall continue to abound in the life of all our daddies in the name of Jesus. Untimely death shall not be their portion in the name of Jesus. They shall be blessed all the days of their life in Jesus' name. Let's take out our hymn book. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Actually, it's not in our hymn book, but let us be blessed by it. There is power in the blood. Would you be free from the burden of sin? There is power in the blood. Power in the blood. Would you ever evil a victory win? There is wonderful power in the blood. There is power, there is power. Wonder working power. In the blood of the Lamb, there is power, there is power, there is wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. We shall be blessed in Jesus' name. La, 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 La 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 
Would you be free from the burden of sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you are evil a victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Would you be free from your passion and pride? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Come for a cleansing to Calvary's side. There's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the land. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Would you be wider, much wider than snow? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Sin stains are lost in its life-giving flow. There's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Would you do service for Jesus, your King? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you live daily his praises to sing? There's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the land. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Amen. Yeah, I say, I dip myself. I dip myself. I dip my family. Dip your children. Deep your spouse in the wonderful, in the wonder-working power blood of Jesus. Say, I deep myself, I deep my children, I deep my spouse, I deep my family in the wonder-working blood of Jesus. I deep myself in the wonder-working power in the blood of Jesus. Yes, yes, deep yourself now in the wonder-working power in the blood of Jesus. And become untouchable, become immovable, become clean, become righteous. Open your mouth. I dip my life. I dip my life in the wonder-working power, in the blood of Jesus. The scripture says we overcame by the blood of the Lamb. Yes, dip your license. As many of you that are working with license, dip your license. I dip my license in the wonder-working Power in the blood of Jesus. There shall be no bewitchment over my license. I dip my license in the wonder working power in the blood of Jesus. There shall be no bewitchment. Arrow of foolishness will not locate me. Sickness of Egyptian will not come near me through my license. Yes, my license will not send me to jail. I dip my license, dip your career. Deep your certificate in the blood of Jesus. Malikuli Masinda. Yes, by the wonder walking power in the blood of Jesus. Let every bewitchment over license, bewitchment over instrument of work. Let bewitchment follow now, 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 in the name of Jesus. 
When you are here, you have uncompleted projects. If you believe there is wonder working power in the blood of Jesus, no matter how there is recession, no matter how there is lockdown, you will still complete your own project. The dream and vision for 2020 will not roll over to 2021 by the mercy of God. Say, I dip my uncompleted project in the blood of Jesus Christ. I dip my uncompleted project in the wonder-working blood of Jesus Christ. Let stagnation dry up. Let stagnation dry up. Many have been building house for 10, 15 years. Father, let stagnation dry up. Every uncompleted project, yes, uncompleted skill, uncompleted learning, uncompleted property, uncompleted progress in the name of Jesus, by the wonder-working power in the blood of Jesus, let it receive completion this year, this year, this year, in the name of Jesus. In Romans chapter 10, verse 1. Romans chapter 10, verse 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. But I want you to know there is somebody here. Your son is not saved and it has become a burden to you. If that is your heart's desire, there is nothing but that is in the heart of God than for life to be saved, than for people to be saved, than for people to come to the knowledge of God. Apostle Paul said, Brethren, my heart desire and the prayer to God for history is that they might be saved. What is your heart desire? This fasting we end tomorrow. That's why the prayer does not end. Prayer continues forever. But the annual fasting we end, the grace released upon it will be removed. Tell the Lord your heart desire. Tell the Lord right now. Tell the Lord. As Apostle Paul tells the Lord his heart desire, and he pray concerning that desire. Whatever is your heart desire, in as long as it is in line with the will of God. Father, this is my heart desire. Lord, over my children that are not saved. Father, let them be safe. Let my children be safe. Apostle Paul said, this is my desire. This is my desire that they may be safe, that the Israelites may be safe. Yes, lift up your voice. Declare it loud and clear. Father, this is my heart desire that my children be safe, that my siblings be safe. Bring them one by one to Christ, that my husband be safe. What does it profit us after we serve God like this and our, your spouse did not get saved? What does it profit us if we serve God like this and our children does not get saved? Cry to God, my father, my father, my father. This is my heart desire as this fasting and prayer is running to an end. If today is the first time you are joining, the graces are available for you. You, you, you yourself step into the current. The great physician is passing by, bearing the balm in, in his hand, asking everyone, what is your desire? Talk to the Lord, Father. My desire is that my sibling must be saved. My desire is that my, my, my family be saved. Talk to the Lord. My desire is that those who are not saved, that are hearing your word here every day, that they will be saved. My desire, oh, my recapacitor, what is your desire? What do you want him to do for you? That your children be ill, that your way be open, that your womb be fruitful, that your green card be settled. Mali Kupasinda, that you buy a car, that you have a, a, a good husband, that you have a good wife, that you have a good grade, that you have a good college. Yes, oh God, arise. Grant your children their desire according to your will. Apostle Paul said, my, bread, my heart desire and prayer to God for history is that they might be saved. Just pray for your son that your son will be saved. Pray for your daughter. Pray over your life that I will be saved to the end. Many are saved halfway. Many are saved in the middle. Many are saved towards the end. And a little bit, they lose their salvation. That shall not be our portion. 
open your mouth and talk to the Lord. My father, my desire is to be saved with the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't let me lose my salvation. Ah, pray. Don't let my family lose their salvation. Satan is waging war against the salvation of saints. Satan is waging war against the salvation of the children of saints. Open your mouth and pray. My father, my desire is that I, we are saved to the end. On this mountain, my desire for us is that we are saved to the end. We are saved to the coming of the Lord Jesus. My desire for you, my friend, is that you are saved to the end. My desire for you, you that daddy dear, is that you are saved and you are saved to the end. My desire for everyone here, including myself, is that we are saved and we are saved to the end. I pray that the grace to be saved now to be saved thereafter. And when Jesus Christ shall appear, the grace for us to be counted, when the saints are marching in, the grace for us to be counted, be granted, be, be granted, be granted, be granted. Mali Kuba Sindaya, the grace for us to be counted among the saints, be granted in the name of Jesus. If you have any family member that are not saved, Pray for them. All the battle that you have, when one person that needs to be saved, be saved. The Bible says, and when, this, when, Saul, when Saul repented, the church rested. Amen. If the, if the head of the witches and wizards in your family, if they are saved, the family will be rested. If the terrorist among in our neighborhood is saved, if the serial killer is saved, the church will, the, the, the people will be arrested. Lift up your voices and tell the Lord, my father, my prayer and my desire is that those who are sitting in darkness will be saved. Those who are sitting in darkness, those who are persecuting the believers will be saved. Saul was the greatest persecutor. But when Saul got saved and he became poor, the church rested. Lift up your voice if you need divine rest. If you want your, your environment to be rested, if you want your city to be rested, if you want your family to be rested, bring those that are, that are sitting in darkness to Christ. Bring them to Christ by fire. Bring them to Christ in prayer. Father, my prayer and my desire is that for everyone in this city where I reside to be saved. Yes, it's for everyone in this my city, in this my state, in this my nation to be saved. Father, we plead the blood of Jesus over the life of unsaved. Many of you have unsaved children. You have unsaved spouse. You have unsaved neighbors. Malikuli Masenda, let's petition over their soul that Jesus Christ will bring them in, that their soul will not perish, that the soul of that man will not perish, that the soul of that, of that father that is not walking the way of God will not perish, that the soul of the vagabond children will not perish. Father, we bring them in. We bring them in by the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. My prayer and desire is that those who are not saved in this city, in this country, they shall be saved by your power, by your grace. They shall be saved. They shall be saved. They shall be saved. Those are our children that are not saved, that are saved partially, that are saved, wuru wuru to the answer. Maya kapas and daya, that they shall be saved completely, that they shall be saved by your grace. In the name of Jesus. Whoever God wants to be saved will be saved. That is it. He said, whatever it, it is impossible for men, it is impossible for God. If God wants the whole world to be saved, nobody can stop him. There are many deliverance. Anyone that wants great deliverance, you will pray for the salvation of soul. There are lives that are attached to the unsaved. Or if you have one unsaved in your neighborhood, it can cost it can cost havoc to the one million sales. So just Saul alone was persecuting the church, was breathing, building out cruelty onto the church, and he was going from places to places to arrest believers, to torment believers. Even he scattered them. 
But when the church continued to pray that Father, save the persecutor, save and stop them, save and stop them, something happened on the way to Damascus. I know something is happening now. Something will happen, son. Something will happen before midnight. Lift up your voices unto the Lord. Oh God, my Father, my prayer and my desire over the persecutor, those who are persecuting Jesus, is that they will be saved. All the Boko Haram, all of them, those who are persecuting the, the body of Christ, those who are persecuting my life. You are dear, you that sister. Someone is persecuting your life. Someone is persecuting your destiny. Lift up your voice. <laughs> the Lord God who met Saul on the way to Damascus, that God is still alive today. That, that wish that is running from one abalis to another, that is going from one city to another because of your case. When the lightning, lightning strike and Jesus stop the person, your life will rest. Oh God, arise. My prayer and my desire is that as many that are not saved, pray for that your friend that is not saved so that he can be saved. Yes, as many that are not saved in this city shall be saved by your grace in Jesus' name. As many that are not saved, in my family declare they shall be saved lord they shall be saved lord as many that are not saved in this place lord my prayer is that they shall be saved as many that are not saved among our children lord i pray they shall be saved by your grace as many that are not saved among our husband lord i pray over them that they shall be saved in Jesus name 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 in the name of Jesus I'm going to pray that that, that one who are who has become the enemy of Jesus Christ in my family all the enemy of Jesus Christ had us saved them save them Save them. Those who are, who are yet to be saved in my family. Father, because I'm there in that family, save them. Father, save them. Pray for your parents. Father, save my father. Save my mother. Pray. Save my, uh, my, my uncle, my auntie. Father, save them. Those who are yet to be saved. Father, Lord, save them. We pray for the salvation of soul of men in this city. Yes, and in the 50 states in the United States of America. We pray that the grace of God will be extended. The unsaved shall be saved in Jesus' name. Those who are yet to be saved, a, a, angel of salvation, we propagate gospel to them and be saved. We shall see soul of men turning to the Lord, turning to the Lord, turning to the Lord, turning to the Lord, turning to the Lord from the north to the south, to the east, to the west in Jesus' name. Violence shall cease. It shall disappear from our land. In the name of Jesus, those who are supposed to be enemy to our life, to our children, they shall be saved in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Give Jesus a clapping offering. He said he will save the soul of men. And we have reminded him of his uh, word tonight. Glory be to God in the highest. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Holy Spirit has said that we should look into something very critical tonight and understand it and assimilate it and walk by that truth all the days of our life. In the book of Numbers chapter 6, Numbers chapter 6, and when we look at verse 24, to 26, Numbers chapter 6. Anyway, before we even go to Numbers, let's go to Psalm 112. Psalm 112. Yes, let's go there. One to the hand. Psalm 112, one to the hand. Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that fears the Lord that delighteth greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endureth forever. 
Unto the upright there arises light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. Five, a good man showeth favor and lendeth. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established. He shall not be afraid until he sees his desire upon his enemies. He has dispersed. He has given to the poor. His righteousness endureth forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. Verse 10. The wicked shall see it and be grieved. He shall gnash with his teeth and melt away. The desire of the wicked shall perish. May the Lord bless the reading and hearing of this word. Amen. In Jesus' name, I pray that you and I, as a child of the Most High God, what God will do in your life after this fasting and prayer after tonight, what God will do in your life will be a wonder that will make the enemy to be ashamed and to gnash their teeth in the name of Jesus. The deliverance God will do in your life, the healing that the Lord will do in your life, the breakthrough that the Lord will give to your life, the way God will make for you will be the kind that will make the, the wicked to be, to be ashamed and to gnash their teeth. If you want God to do things that will make the enemy to gnash their teeth, if you want the desire of the wicked over your life to perish, if you want the desire of the enemy over your life to perish, do this that Holy Spirit is saying. Look at all those qualities from the beginning. He said, praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delight greatly in his commandment. When you become a man that fear God, when you become a woman who fear God, believe me, Holy Spirit says you have no other fear. If you are the kind who fear God, then dismiss all other fears in your life. You will not have cause to fear witches and wizards. You will not have cause to fear poverty. You will not have cause to fear darkness. Neither will you have cause to fear disfavor. You will not have cause to fear persecution. The Bible says, surely shall not be moved forever. When you become a man and a woman who fear God, a family who fear God, the emblem of people who fear God is that they delighted greatly, exceedingly greatly in the commandment of God. When you see a man who fear God, they don't question the commandment of God. They don't question why did God say don't kill? Why did God say tithe? Why did God say give? Why did God say you should lend? They don't question commandments of God. The scripture says they delight greatly in the commandments of God. And their blessing is a present and a future blessing. When we be become a man and a woman who fear God, you don't have to, f the fear of men will not have meaning to you anymore. Because whatever their rage, the Lord will deliver you from it. Because you are a man who fear God. And what does it mean to fear God? To fear God means you have honor, reference, reference for him. You have reference fear for the Lord and for the will of God, for whatever God said you should do. If God said you should worship, you worship him. If God said, honor my sanctuary, you don't bring a cup of drink into the sanctuary. You don't chew chewing gum and put it under the chair. You don't start misbehaving the house of God. You have respect to every commandment of God. If God said, honor, honor, honor my servant, you don't begin to dishonor. If God said, wife, I respect your husband, you do it. If the commandments of God say, husband, love your wife, you have respect. You know, we must reference God before we can be blessed by God. When you are the kind who reference God, the Bible says, have you seen that family? Have you seen that man? Have you seen that woman who fear God? 
their children shall be mighty. Whatever they do, whether they are mechanic, whether they are doctor, whether they are engineer, they shall be blessed upon the heart. Not only them, they are generations. So the blessing is for present and it's for the future. Everybody is finding ways to be rich, to be wealthy. But the Bible says you are a man who, who practice fear of God. Wealth and riches shall be in your house. The, your righteousness will endure forever. And the Bible says unto the hot pride, there arises light in the darkness. The man or woman who fear God can be sick as well. They can be poor. They can be down. They can be persecuted. They can be treated badly. But they cannot be forsaken. They cannot be forsaken. The Bible says they cannot be, and his righteousness endureth forever. The Bible says, surely he shall not be moved forever. You shall not be moved forever. Whatever that is making you uncomfortable at this time cannot be forever. If you are that woman, if you are that man, if you are that family who fear God, the devil is, do, is waging war graciously to take the fear of God. He has succeeded in the life of many people. That's why you see that they say, what, what, what? I have freedom of speech. I can say anything I want. They can speak anyhow to the elderly people. They can speak anyhow to a man of God, a woman of God. They can speak anyhow to their boss. They can speak anyhow to the president. They can speak anyhow to the authority. They can speak anyhow to the flag. They, they, they don't think about what does the word of God say. He said, thou shalt not speak evil of the king. President represents the king of your country. When you become a man who fear God, then you, God begin, he, 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 his blessing, you will be able to be partaker of that blessing. And anywhere you see blessing, Holy Spirit said, cause cannot stay there. The cause of the costless will not stand. When God say you are blessed, any man who fear God, if you are going somewhere, somebody say, oh, uh, they cost you. It, they can cost, but that cost could not stand. The cost cannot stand. Cost of life will not stand in the life of someone who fear God. The Bible says a good man will show a favor. He will lend. That's why that you have lent people something, your time, your money, they betray you. You will not because of that stuff, because you are a man or woman who fear God. And God will give you direction. When you are a man and woman who fear God, God will lead you in the way you will go. He will give you wisdom. He will, get, he will give you long life. He will have compassion on you because you have compassion on, on others. In fact, Samuel, he said, you shall not be afraid of evil tidings. That evil tidings can be bad news, can be rage of the enemy. But the Bible says you will not be afraid. You have protection. You will have provision. And you will have a God's approval. The Bible says his heart is established. What does that mean? When your heart is established, meaning you, you have confidence in your God. His heart is fixed, trusting the Lord in any situation. His heart is established. He shall not be afraid, afraid of plague, afraid of, of somebody who will kill you, unless you, you, you will begin to see your desire over your enemy. If we begin to look at the blessing of the fear of God, the Holy Ghost said it, re, it will drive away the causes of life from your life. Say, Holy Spirit, help me to cultivate the holy living of the fear of God. Holy Spirit, help me to cultivate the habit of holy living of the fear of God. Help me to cultivate the habit of holy living of the fear of God in the name of Jesus. Even our Bible reading today, in Psalm 128, it talks about a man who fears God as well. It talks about the blessing that flows through their life that no man can stop. It talks about the blessing that overrides the causes of life. It said, blessed is every man that fears the Lord, meaning you are blessed. So when you are blessed, cause cannot stay in your life. For thou shalt eat the fruit of your labor. 
When you work for something, God will give you good health, long life to hit it. But you must first reference God. And it's a work for us as we move from glory to greater glory. If you don't reference God, this blessing doesn't flow to your life. But when you reference God, you put him in first place. You reference him, you take in his commandment, you follow it. The Bible says your wife will be as a fruitful vine by the side of your house. A man who fear God, God give them good wife. They are fruitful in every area, not only in children. They are fruitful in kindness. They are fruitful in helpfulness. They are fru- fruitful in affection. They are fruitful in good works that will enrich their marriage. If you, your wife does not have all this quality, check your life and begin to fear God. If you fear God, the Bible says your children, they will be like olive trees around your table. They will not be a burden to you. They will be, uh, they, 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 they will run your table like peaceful. They will be a joy. And the Bible says, so shall the man who fear God be blessed. This is how the blessing will reflect. This is how the blessing will pursue the person. This is how the enemy cause will not be able to stay. This is how the blessing of God will override the causes of life. For that man who fear God. The Bible says the cause of men can, cannot come near them because they are too blessed. Men cannot do Even when somebody calls you, the cost will just come roaming around. When there is a cost in your family, when there is a cost at your place of work, if you cultivate the habit of being a man, a woman who fear God, the causes of life has no effect on you. In the book of Numbers, so we can take the prayer quickly. Numbers six twenty-four to twenty-six says, "The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make His face to shine upon thee." And be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee. And give you peace. This is, this is priestly blessing. This blessing of God come upon everyone who fear God. And we see that in Numbers 23. Numbers 23. When you look at verse 20. We see that the causes of Balaam and Balak could not stand in Numbers 23, 20, it said, Behold, I have received commandment to bless, and he has, he has blessed, and I cannot reverse it. What was Balak saying there? Balaam was telling Balak that I cannot cause the Israelites. When I talked to God concerning them, God said they are blessed people. And when God said somebody is blessed, Balaam said, Who am I to put a curse on them? I can't curse them. When we are walking under the fear of God, the cause of life cannot have effect in our life. Cause of sickness cannot have effect in your life. Cause of poverty will not have effect. Cause of profitless at labor. Cause of rejection. Cause of stagnation. Cause of life shall be wasted. That is an antidote to waste cause. Begin to live in the fear of God. Begin to walk in the fear of God. Begin to speak in the fear of God. Begin to act in the fear of God. Whether people are there or not there, don't say what you can't say at their back. Don't say what they did not say. If you are walking in the fear of God, you will not lie that somebody says something about you. We are as they didn't say. When you walk in the fear of God, you be, you be a fearless person. The fear of God will help you to dismiss all other fear, when they wage war against you, the, that way, the war they wage will backfire on them. The reason why children of God, we are, we are, we are enemy, why enemy is trying to attack and they are succeeding, is that they, there is an area in our life where we are not walking in the fear of God. Let us talk to the Lord tonight. The blessing of a man and a woman who walk in the fear of God is too much. Say, oh God, my Father, arise and baptize me. And baptize me afresh with the spirit of fear of the Lord. Father, baptize my children afresh. Pray for your spouse too. Father, baptize every member of my household 
Baptize us afresh with the spirit of fear of the Lord. Father, baptize us afresh with the spirit of fear of God. Baptize us afresh, Lord, as a family, as an individual, as a congregation. Baptize us afresh with the spirit of fear of God in the name of Jesus. If you have the fear of God, you will not sleep with other people's wives. If you have fear of God, you will not molest other people's children. If you have fear of God, you will not use, use other people's uh, credit card. You will not do fraudulent dealing. If you have the fear of God in you, you will not withhold what belongs to God. If you have the fear of God in you, you will not say something bad at the back of people and come to their front and pretend. Lift up your voice. Say, Satan, you shall not succeed in taking the fear of God away from me. Satan, you shall not succeed in taking away the fear of God from me. Satan, you shall not succeed in taking away the fear of God from my children. When Satan takes fear of God from children, they lie all willy-nilly. They did, they did not know that those are the things that opens them up to attack. They acted all willy-nilly as if no, no man business. Lift up your voice. They say, Satan, you will not succeed in taking the fear of God away from me. You will not succeed in taking away the fear of God from my family. You will not succeed in taking away the fear of God from my life. Be that man and woman. Let us be that family that fear God. And let us see the causes of life. Let's see what causes of sickness can do to us. Let's see what causes of poverty can do to us. Let's see what causes of untimely death can do to us. So every causes of life, I trample upon them. I trample upon them. Every causes of life, fired into my life. Every causes of life, fired into my children's life. I trample upon them. I trample upon them. Every spell, incantation, every evil utterance, every cause of life, cause of sickness, cause of barrenness, cause of poverty, cause of stagnation, cause of failure at the edge of success. I trample upon them. I trample upon them in the name of Jesus, who we cause, whom God has blessed. My Ali Kulima Sindaya, every cause of untimely death, every cause of failure. Every cause of misfortune, every cause of infirmity that has been waging war against any life here because of the spirit of fear of God that has been dispatched to your life. Let all the curses of life, let them perish now. Let all the curses of life placed upon anyone's life here. Let that cause go back to sender. Go back to sender. Cause of short life, cause of premature death. Cause of poverty, cause of failure, cause of rejection, cause of barrenness, cause of madness, cause of deformity. Mali Cooper sender, go back to 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 sender, go back in the name of Jesus. Yes. Holy Spirit, we still speak to you. That's my daughter. My son, you need to apply fear of God in this area. And as Holy Spirit speaks to you, don't resist him. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Anyone that doesn't have fear of God can have wisdom of God. God will not teach that person the way. He will not enter into covenant. In Psalm 25, I think verse 12 or 13 there, he said, have you, have you seen that man who fear God? It is that person God will show. Yes. He said, what man is he that fear the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he should choose. What does that mean? If you are a man, a woman who fear God, God will instruct you in the way you should go. No, don't go to this place. So when you seek counsel, God will put the right word in the mouth of the person for you. Because you are a man who fear God. You fear God in your, in your finances. You fear God in dealings with others. You fear God. He said they will, he said they will spend their days in prosperity. And all their descendants will inherit the land. His soul shall dwell at ease and his seed shall inherit the land. That's what it means. When somebody's soul is dwelling at ease, People see peace and serenity around you. 
Stress has no room for you. You have no room for stress. You will spend your day in divine prosperity, in divine blessing. You will not have to rob anybody. You will not have to steal from the company you are working for. When you become a man, a woman, a youth who fear God, you will not have to beg for husband. The Bible says a, a, a good wife, a good wife is a crown unto their husband. God will give you good wife. He will give you good husband. He will give you the direction for life. Don't do this cause. This is the cause you do because you are that person who fear God. The soul of the person will dwell at it. The Israelites were in their camp sleeping. And Balaam and Balak, they were killing seven cows in seven altars in order to cause them. And the cause could not have effect in their life. I decree and I declare in the name that is above every other name, the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, because you and everyone here, we have become man and woman, family who fear God. All the causes of life, causes that is operating our family, causes that is operating our territory, causes that is operating our profession, causes that is operating in our in-laws' house. Let those causes, let them be wasted now in the name of Jesus. Let blessing of God replace curses. Let blessing of God overtake the life of everyone here. Let blessing of God, of Abraham, of Isaac, let it be upon everyone here. In the name of Jesus, let blessing of God be upon every life here. In the name of Jesus, let blessing of God be upon every soul here. In the name of Jesus. Father, your children have tell you their desire that they want this to be safe, they want that to be safe, they want this one to be healed, they want this one to be done. Father, you are God who searches the heart. You know it what is in the heart. And you promise in Matthew 7, 7, you said, ask and it shall be given. You said, knock, the door shall be opened. You said, seek and you shall find. That which we have asked is, is, is granted in Jesus' name. That which your children have knocked off for. Is, is released for them. That which they have sick, they have found tonight in Jesus' name. This is the hour of night by the wonder working power in the blood of Jesus. Build the wall of fire around your children. Build the wall of fire around all the members of our family. Build the, build the wall of fire around every member of Mangiga Second Go Prayer Line Ministry. Let your holy angel encamp around us to defend and protect us in Jesus' name. Father, let the speaking power in the blood of Jesus overshadow every life here. Let all our prayer, let the precious blood of Jesus Christ speak answers to them in Jesus' name. Father, you are the Alpha and the Omega, and we commit the last day tomorrow into your hand. Father, our expectation is so great. Please, Lord, do what only you can do. Let us see you in a mighty, in a marvelous way. Round up this program for us with distinguished blessings, miracles, breakthroughs in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we just thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. And as many as are not saved here, by this word of yours they have here tonight, they shall be saved in Jesus' name. And many that are saved and the salvation is still, is still dangling. Lord, we establish those salvation and we shall be saved to the end with the coming of Jesus Christ. Our children shall be saved to the end. Our spouse shall be saved to the end in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. The name of God of Abraham, God of Isaac and Jacob defend you and preserve you now and forever in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' awesome name, we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Let's clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. And join us in the morning at 5.30 a.m. Central Time.
and uh, 6 a.m. for the English section. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name.